Hello, everyone. Last week, I had the opportunity to sit down with uh, Chef Eric Mansavage, the executive chef and operating partner of Farmhouse Taverns and Farm Bar. We sat down at Farmhouse Tavern located on Chicago Ave. Chef Mansavage had been running a couple minutes late. There had been some issues with a contractor at the new location he's opening in Edgewater. As he settled in, he apologized for running late, uh, mentioning the difficulties of opening a new restaurant. Although, he added on a positive note that he had made four hires that day, so it wasn't all bad. Chef Man Savage opened both farmhouse locations as well as their bar concept farm bar over the previous seven years, so the unexpected problems weren't really new to him. He met his operating partners by chance after working as a sous chef in hotel kitchens and as uh, the chef de cuisine at an American Italian restaurant. Prior to his time in restaurants, Chef Man Savage earned a, a degree in business. However, he knew all the, t all the while that his path was really set for kitchens. Coming from a family of cooks on a farm in Wisconsin, Chef Man Savage knew good, fresh food his entire life. And this is why his partners thought that he'd be the perfect person for their farm to table concept. Farmhouse Tavern and Farm Bar utilize local, seasonal, and sustainably produced ingredients in a way that is approachable to the casual diner. The hope is that not only to give the customer a pleasurable eating experience, but also to spread the idea that food choices matter. However, for Chef Man Savage, the concept of sustainability extends beyond just the food and to how he believes he should manage his employees. Between the two restaurants and bar, Chef Man Savage oversees around 150 employees with eight chefs and a few general managers reporting to him directly. He utilizes an outside HR farm to handle things such as payroll, uh, as well as to conduct occasional training sessions for his employees, while the remainder of the HR responsibilities fall on an administrative employee, as well as onto himself and his operating partners. The day-to-day -day managing of the restaurant and bar is Chef Man Savage's primary role with the help of his direct reports. His philosophy in managing is that every employee is different and should be managed differently. Although something that he, he did mention that is a little bit different than you often hear in other restaurants is that he doesn't like to refer to his staff as a family, preferring to use the term team. The distinction that he made is that a family gives unconditional support, whereas in a team there's a shared goal and support should be given in aim of achieving that goal. Um, for a restaurant in particular, that goal is running a successful business. Chef Man Savage learned that not making that distinction can lead to serious problems while he was opening the second farmhouse location. For him, moving from being the executive chef of a restaurant to the executive chef of restaurants was very difficult. As a chef, uh, it's easy to want to control every aspect of a restaurant, but trying to do this with two locations, Chef Man Savage found himself spread thin. Uh, he realized at this point that he had to delegate more and more and give his employees the freedom to operate independently. Unfortunately, giving his employees more autonomy didn't go as smoothly as he had hoped. Uh, struggling to keep the two locations afloat, Chef Man Savage began to realize that there was a major culture problem in one of his locations. And in removing himself from the oversight that he was able to afford before, the culture problem just allowed itself to propagate and grow. Looking back at it, Chef Man Savage wishes that he had acted on this sooner, but he had the mentality at the time that his, his staff was a family, and he, which made him hesitant to make radical changes. Finally, when it seemed like the restaurant would go under, Chef Man Savage decided he had no option but to remove the employees that he felt were the root of the culture issue, and it worked. Now, Chef Man Savage puts heavy emphasis on hiring, stressing the importance of finding candidates that fit into the culture that he has worked so hard to foster, which is why he was so excited that he was able to make four hires today. He utilizes his network so that hiring can be a continual process. Um, he mentioned that this allows him to kind of get new people coming into the kitchen as well as prepare for the eventual turnover that, that does happen. Um, he also believes that having new people in the kitchen can help the team uh, stay fresh and not become complacent and fall into bad habits. However, at the same time, he fights to keep those employees that are successful. Uh, Chef Man Savage noted that the importance of hiring with long-term intentions in mind, always looking for candidates with attributes that can be developed for higher positions in the future. In order to retain those employees, he's so carefully hired. Uh, he works to develop his employees so that upward movement is possible. 
His preferred method is the cross train, um, ideally having employees that can work position to position and even location to location. In addition to developing his employees, he believes that paying a fair wage and providing benefits is crucial to keeping his staff. He also sees this as a problem for the industry as a whole. Looking to the future, Chef Ansider is worried that the supply of well-trained, capable culinary professionals will continue to decline. He believes that the culture of restaurants has fallen behind and less people are seeking out careers in the industry because of it. To fight this, recently Farmhouse introduced a 50 cent fee to all dishes in order to help pay for the health insurance that is offered to all employees. Something that a lot of restaurants struggle to do. In addition to that, all employees also receive a week of paid vacation that they are highly encouraged to take. Um, can't say forced to take, but Chef Man Savage definitely uh, really stressed the importance that that the employees do take advantage of that benefit. Chef Manchev hopes that he can use the lessons that he's learned during his time as a manager to help his employees avoid making similar ones. From being empathetic, learning to delegate, and keeping the focus on the shared goal of a successful business, he's established a style of management that he believes has allowed his staff to essentially manage itself. In addition to ensuring a balanced lifestyle, He's created a successful and sustainable workplace for his employees.